Little Fox. Quinn Statistics Assignment. Dinner was over, but Quinn was still sitting at the kitchen table, talking to Mom and Grandpa. What was the most boring thing that happened at school today? Grandpa asked teasingly. Quinn was eager to complain about math class. Ugh! My teacher gave us the most boring assignment ever: statistics and you. We have to use two different kinds of graphs to illustrate statistics that affect our lives. I don't know any statistics. Never mind some that affect me. Where do I start? You could start right here, Grandpa suggested. Why am I having dinner with you? Because you're staying with us temporarily after falling and breaking your wrist. Grandpa nodded. Now, take out your phone and look up some statistics on older Americans and falls. Quinn quickly found an article online and read part of it aloud. Every year, one in four Americans aged 65 and over falls. These 29 million falls lead to 27,000 deaths. That's a lot of falls. But how do these statistics affect me? I'm not over 65. Where are you sleeping tonight? Grandpa asked. On the living room couch, cause you're sleeping in my bed. Oh, I get it. You're one of those older Americans who fell. The statistics are about seniors, but their problems affect their families, too. Exactly. Grandpa turned to Mom. When my wrist heals, I should take a class at your fitness center to improve my balance. That's a great idea, she said. If we're still open. People used to exercise when they got off work at the candy factory. But business has declined since the factory shut down two months ago. Quinn realized that her life would definitely be affected if Mom's fitness center went out of business. Hey, Mom! Do you keep track of how many clients work out every day? Yes, Mom said. I just got an idea for my math project, but I need to know how many people have used the center in the past six months. A few nights later, Quinn delivered a presentation at the kitchen table. This is a single line graph, she announced, holding up a paper. It shows the number of people who have used the fitness center in the past six months. The figures are fairly constant for the first four months, but once the factory closes, they drop by 23%. Mom looked worried. And I know new memberships are down, too. But there's also some promising news, Quinn said. The number of older Americans is growing. That's partly due to improved medical care, which has boosted life expectancy. Only 42% of babies born in 1900 could expect to live past 65. But for people born in 2000, that number is projected to almost double. So there are more old people now, <laughs> Grandpa said. How is that good news? Compare these two pie charts, Quinn said. The U.S. Census Bureau collects and compiles lots of statistics, so I looked up some census data for our town. Like the rest of the U.S., People over 65 made up around 12% of the population in 2000. But now that number has increased to 15% and it's expected to grow even more. Maybe I should refocus my business for older members, Mom said. Besides working on balance, I could offer strength training, stretching, and aerobic exercises. You could conduct a survey to see if people are interested, Quinn suggested. Oh, seniors are definitely interested, Grandpa said. My friend Jim says his walking group can't meet during winter because the park's paths get icy. So his group would love senior fitness classes too. That 
That's what my math teacher calls anecdotal evidence, Grandpa, Quinn said. You're drawing conclusions based only on your opinion a and Jim's. Grandpa pretended to be angry. Oh, I've known Jim since high school. We're really smart guys. Quinn laughed. <laughs> yes, but you two are from the same segment of the population. You're the exact same age, and you're both men. It would be better to hear from a wider demographic through a random survey including people of different ages and genders. This would give Mom a more representative sample of the senior community. I could draw up the questions, Mom said. But how will we obtain a representative sample? That's easy, Grandpa said. Everyone eats at the Supreme Diner on Tuesdays because it's Senior Discount Day. The diner's next door to your fitness center, so I could survey people passing by. Plus, there are seniors of all ages and genders. That's a wider demographic. Quinn nodded. After you've gathered the data, I could help Mom interpret it. And if my teacher gives me extra credit for that, statistics could have a positive effect on my math grade. Little Fox!